To assemble your Crooks tube, you will need one syringe body, one dual hole rubber stopper, one pre-assembled Crooks tube fluorescent screen, the assembly of which will be discussed in a later step, one lure type hose barb fitting, one hex head screw, one hex nut, two washers, one nylon insulator, and a needle assembly consisting of a sewing needle, as well as a lure lock plug, shown in both assembled and non-assembled configurations. First, to construct the plug assembly, the lure lock hose bar barb is pressed into one of the two openings. The hex head screw is inserted through the other opening. On the small end of the plug, one washer is placed over the screw, followed by a nylon insulator, followed by a second washer, and finally by the hex nut. The nut should be tightened finger tight so that the end of the screw is approximately flush with the nut. Your needle assembly is constructed by taking the sewing needle and pushing it through the end of the nylon cap. This should be done carefully by placing the nylon cap on a hard solid surface, shown here with an aluminum block as an example. The sewing needle should be aligned with the center of the plug and another hard object should be used to push the needle directly straight down through the center of the cap. It's important not to put side load on the needle as the needle must create a vacuum seal against the plug. Once assembled, the screen is inserted into the Crooks tube. The plug is fo inserted followed on the end with the screw aligned approximately with the center of the slit in the screen. The needle assembly is then placed in the tip of the syringe. This completes the assembly of the Crooks tube.